Welcome to Fresh Manna from El Bethel Ministries. Dearly beloved, I want to draw your attention to the narratives leading to the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are many of those instances that show the redemption plan of human race from the Almighty God. Especially, let's turn to John chapter 18 verses 39 and 40. It is here where Pilate presents the Lord Jesus Christ in front of the people who have accused him. And then he tells, during the Passover, I always release a criminal or one who is accused. Shall I release this man, the King of the Jews? That's Jesus Christ. At that point of time, the people tell that they want Barabbas. The word Barabbas is made up of two words. One is Bar and another word is Abbas. The word Bar means son and Abbas means father. He is the son of the father. So when those people chose Barabbas instead of the Lord Jesus Christ, the words play are so clear. They chose the son of God to be crucified instead of the son of the father, that is Barabbas, who was the son of the father. We see that Jesus Christ was chosen instead of Barabbas. Now I want to look in this particular scripture. It is the gospel in a small nutshell. We, the human race, were the one who had to be guilty. We were guilty and we are the ones who had to be punished. But we see the redemption being enacted in this place. We stood to be punished and deserving death. For Romans 3.23 and Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death. But it's the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord to us. So when we stood guilty, when Barabbas also stood guilty, he did nothing but he was given pardon. In the same way, when we who are standing guilty, when we do nothing, it is Jesus Christ who took our place instead of us and we go free. What a beautiful incidents herein that is recorded. We, like Barabbas, are let aside without any condemnation. This is what we read in Romans chapter 8 verses 1 for those who are in Christ have no condemnation. Jesus suffered for us. Later, when you turn to the next chapter, John chapter 19, verses 1. This is what we read there, that the soldiers took Jesus to be scourged. And when they took him to be scourged, they put on him a purple robe. All artists know how to make purple color. The word, the purple color is made up of two colors. One is the red and another one is the blue. The blue represents the sky, the divine nature, and the red represents earth, man, and blood. And both of that was mingled to make purple. And we know that Jesus Christ, the perfect God, became a human being. And he was the one who st stood in our stead. And after Jesus Christ was scourged, beaten by those soldiers, he was brought and then when he was made to stand in front of the people, Pilate brings out this wonderful word and he says, look at the man. In Hebrew, it, it is read as Ha-Adam, the man, the definite article, the is used. It is the only man ever since the creation of Adam, 
Jesus Christ was the only perfect man who was so complete the man we are all of us a man but he is the man the only man who is so perfect and so clean and so holy who stood in our stead so that we all can be redeemed my dear brother and sister as we are meditating about the cross and our substitution nari death that the lord jesus christ took on our behalf let's look to him and say thank you lord thank you for you died for me in my stead and i'm grateful for this gift of salvation let's look to him in prayer almighty jesus thank you for this wonderful opportunity that you have given us so that we can come to you and accept your death burial and resurrection and we are redeemed we thank you for the relationship that we share with the almighty god through the sacrifice of your death on the cross and to this we return back to you and we say we will live for you in jesus name we pray amen dearly beloved i would encourage you to comment on the channel and share our videos we are available on all social handle god bless you